This is probably one of the most mad scientist looking things you could do during an engine rebuild. Here I'm getting ready to measure or CC the combustion chambers for my cylinder heads. And that starts with filling this, what felt like a 16 foot tall glass burette. I almost bounced it off the shop ceiling a couple times and I may have been standing on a step stool just to fill this up. To measure this correctly, I had to go back to high school chemistry class and remember that a meniscus is not just that part of my knee that I'm waiting to snap like the G-string on a sumo wrestler. Measure it from the bottom of the curve. Next, it's time to seal off the combustion chamber. I already have the valves and the spark plug installed a little bit of grease on them. And now I'm just going to go around the combustion chamber with some more grease to make sure that that's sealed up when I drop the acrylic plate on. This will keep any of our measuring liquid from seeping out while we fill the chamber. There was something oddly mesmerizing about watching the combustion chamber fill up, but don't get too mesmerized and forget to shut off the valve before the liquid reaches the top, because if this overfills, you have to start all over. If we take a close look, we can see we have a small air bubble here, so now we just have to tilt the head side to side and guide that air bubble until it escapes through the hole in the plate. Now summon all your inner precision, because we're going to top off the rest of this fluid, and we're going to get it to stop before it overflows right there perfect now we can read the scale and see how much liquid was transferred over to the chamber and we can see that we have a 62 cc combustion chamber not only does this verify that these 1972 number seven oldsmobile heads were milled down from 64 to 62 cc's sometime in the past but now we have that value to plug into our compression ratio calculator and it looks like my 403 will be running at about 10.3 to 1 compression ratio, which is perfect for the street on 93 pump gas. Anyway, if you guys are interested, I have a full video demonstration on how to CC your cylinder heads on my YouTube channel. But other than that, I got to get to picking a camshaft and some valve springs for this engine. So thanks for hanging, and I'll catch you guys next time.